Life. What is the meaning of life? This is a most ancient story of one man's search for the answer. He tried to make a name for himself with great accomplishments. He built the city of Uruk. Then he tried pleasure and pursued many women. Next he sought adventure and more great deeds. But the fear of death overshadowed all of these, and so he sought immortality. In the end, he discovered that the most important things were friendship and love, but he learned this the hard way, and he learned it too late. Gilgamesh. One, Amir the Storyteller enters. I will proclaim to the world the great deeds of Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, a great king, he was wise, he saw mysteries, he knew secret things, Gilgamesh.
the Great Hall in the ancient Mesopotamian city of Uruk. Great King Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, to the King I raise a toast. Gilgamesh, of its glory I do boast. A great King. The Streets of Uruk. Gilgamesh comes out of a tavern. He sees an attractive woman and chases after her. The realm of the gods appears in the heavens.
Gilgamesh returns arm in arm with two other women. The god Anu speaks to the other gods. The goddess Aruru answers him. This Gilgamesh is lost to leave no virgin to her lover. This Gilgamesh leaves no woman alone. Not the warrior's daughter, nor the wife of a noble, nor the virgin her lover. His arrogance knows no bounds. Day or night he sounds the bell for his amusement. But he is the king, the shepherd of his people. He should be wise to guide his people true. A king must be resolute, not dissolute. O oh goddess Aruru, create an equal for Gilgamesh. A man in his reflection, his second self, a stormy heart for a stormy heart. I will create. out and creates Enkidu. Enkidu is a full-grown man. He lies curled up. He will be innocent of mankind. He will eat grass and live with the animals. Oh, Enkidu, the wild man, roams the woods. A trapper sees him and is terrified. The 
Trapper goes to the Trapper camp and speaks to his father. Father, I am afraid. Terror benumbs my heart. For I have seen a man like no other, the strongest in the world. He wanders over hills, with beasts he eats the grass. He fills the traps I dig, the animals he sets free. He frees them from my snares. I am afraid Go, son, into the city and find a harlot there from the temple of love. Let her harlot's power civilize this man. Hear what I say. Let a woman's power overcome this man. The trapper brings a harlot to the watering hole in the woods. Amir, the storyteller, enters. I will not give details, but the woman from the temple of Ishtar, she came to the watering hole. She waited naked as nature until thirst brought and could do. And he saw her. For six days and seven nights she taught him her woman's art. 
he learned well. She washed his body, anointed it with fragrant oils. She gave him garments fine. She civilized and could do. Gilgamesh speaks to his mother about his dream. Mother, last night I had a dream so curious. I dreamt a meteor fell from the sky so heavy to lift. Yet when I picked it up, it attracted me like a woman. Mother, I had a second dream I found an axe So strange its shape to me I picked it up And wore the axe at my side Yet it attracted me like a woman On the road to Uruk. I am Enkidu. I was made from clay by Goddess Aruru. But what am I? Peace man or God? Once lived with animals Content I ran with swift antelope Leopards and lions were my friends What else could I be? Unclothed Ronnie Free. Then I 
saw a woman, something I had never seen before. She taught her woman's way. She wove her woman's spell. She civilized me. Gave me garments and fragrances. I smell no more of the open fields. Now the animals run from me. They fear my smell. What am I to do? What am I to do? Then she told the tale of Gilgamesh And all the wrongs that he had done I will challenge him I will challenge Gilgamesh On the streets of Uruk, Gilgamesh walks with the townspeople.
Spanish wrestle. Yogamesh pins Enkidu. Your strength surpasses all men. You are strong as a wild ox. Let us fight no more. Let us be friends. I dreamed of your coming, Enkidu. We shall be friends. We shall be friends. Enkidu and Gilgamesh in the Great Hall of Uruk. The gods have made you king. Gilgamesh. This is your destiny. Gilgamesh. Do not abuse your power. For the sun, Shamish, watches over you. The gods destined me for greatness, yet I have not established my name. My name is not stamped on fired bricks. No monuments bear the name of Gilgamesh. I will go to the land of cedars, and there I will make my name In the forest of cedars I will destroy the evil one Pumbaba Pumbaba? Pumbaba the Fierce? Pumbaba? <laughs> A storm. His jaws are death itself. His breath like fire. Umbaba. 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 Terrible to all flesh. Umbaba. His teeth are dragon's teeth. Umbaba. Is charged like a rushing flood. Umbaba. Terrible to flesh. Umbaba. And he's armed with seven terrors. Umbaba. He guards the forest. He never sleeps. Umbaba.
ओम On the road leading away from Uruk. Your courage carries you too far. I know well of whom Baba and the forest wide that he protects. Do not challenge. Surely die. Where is the man who can climb to heaven? Only the gods they live forever. Should be our time. What is this? Already you are afraid. Although I am your Lord, I will lead, and you may safely call forward. There is nothing to fear, and if I should die. I leave behind my name. I leave behind my name. Gilgamesh. O oh my Lord, the land of cedars belongs to Shemesh, the god of the sun. You must ask his protection. Shemesh, oh Shemesh, hear me, hear me. Will you put my name on the scroll of famous men? My name stamped on bricks as my destiny decrees. If what I seek is wrong, then why do the gods give man his restless spirit or hearts? Never satisfied with what is before us Our hearts always yearning for what lies beyond the horizon Forward there is nothing to fear there is nothing to fear. And so they set out on a journey, Gilgamesh and Enkidu. They set out to destroy Humbaba. 
The armorers had forged an axe for Gilgamesh. They called it Might of Heroes. Before breakfast, they walked 20 leagues. 60 miles. And 30 leagues. 90 miles. But dust. Each night they dug a well through solid rock. After many days, they came to the inn of Zidui. Siduri welcomes the travelers. Gilgamesh and Enkidu exit the inn of Siduri and walk past the graveyard next to the inn. Here lie men who are now unknown. 
marked by a board or stone. Here their wives, their children too. Is this the future for you? Who will remember Gilgamesh when you are dead and gone? cannot find his way, but I know my destiny. We will not pause, we go forth. We go forth now. this day I speak a curse on all men. From this day forward, may men never have the wisdom to seek advice or ask for direction. Gilgamesh and Enkidu arrive at the forest. At last, the land of cedars, the home of Humbaba. Humbaba, 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 Humbaba. But a tree he will come. Itself, his breath like fire, Umbaba, 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 Umbaba. Umbaba, a fierce looking creature, enters. Then Humbaba turns. His fierce visage is only a mask on his back. The real Humbaba is a creature of noble bearing. But Enkidu only sees the mask. Your 
servant I will be. Just let me go free. Face of a lion, oom ba ba, roars like a storm, oom ba ba, his jaws are death itself, his breath like fire, oom ba ba. They killed Humbaba. With Humbaba dead, we can clear the forest from here to the Euphrates. 